today's tutorial, we're going to show you how to make this stunning wedding arch with fabrics and flowers. Let's begin by unboxing our flower boxes. Our deluxe designer flower boxes come with flowers in a variety of sizes, colors, and styles. We'll use two different designer boxes for variety, two basic flower box sets to supplement the designer boxes. We use garland to create the decorative part of our floral arrangements and green leaves as supplements. We'll use smaller flowers and leaves as accents. Green leaves that branch outwards can create a lifelike look. We're going to use two fabrics with the same color but in different shades. This will give the arch a fuller look. Finally, we'll use wire mesh, floral foam, cable ties, and pliers to assemble our arch. First, hang a piece of fabric in the upper right side of the arch. Then stretch it to the middle left, where the fabric meets the arch. Turn the fabric across and tug it gently so that the fold faces outward. Use a clamp to secure the fabric and let the excess fall. Hang another piece of fabric above the arch and extend it from left to right using the same process. Pull one side of the fabric to create a fuller look. Use wire mesh to wrap floral foam around the arch. Secure it with cable ties. Fasten the wire mesh and foam to the arch frame. Trim the excess cable ties. Create two groups of floral foam on opposite sides of the arch. Make one side larger than the other for contrast. Trim the excess cable ties. Use pliers to cut the vine into 5 and 10 inch pieces. Cut two extra sections, one smaller than the others and one longer, roughly 15 inches in length. Insert the shortest cuttings into both sides of the floral foam first, leaving the middle open for flowers. Fill the whole section of floral foam with greenery cuttings. Insert longer pieces into the middle for depth.
Repeat the process on the other side. When arranging flowers, we surround large focal point flowers with smaller flowers of different colors to create a flower cluster. Combine multiple flower clusters to create a single, larger flower group. Note that we vary the placement of similar flowers to create a cohesive and natural look. Using the same method, arrange flowers on the other side of the arch. Insert decorative leaves and filler flowers between clusters as accents. Using the flowers as a guide, we insert more leaf branches and smaller flowers branching outward so that the main flowers will stand out more. Tidy up the fabric on the floor. Okay, now let's make some decorations to place at the bottom of the arch. Take a piece of floral foam and insert leaf branches of varying lengths. Leave free space for flowers. Arrange the leaves to block the floral foam from view. Using the same cluster method from the arch, we use a large flower as a focal point and surround it with smaller ones of varying colors. Fill in all the gaps with flowers.
Use the leftover flowers and greenery to create more floral arrangements. Place them on both sides beneath the arch. Interspace candles and candlesticks between the ground flowers. This is how it looks like when finished. You could also use your new arch and floral arrangements to create such stunning wedding ceremony backdrop. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more DIY tutorials.